Hi, everyone. It's Paul Ward here, and welcome to another 15 Minutes. I'm very excited today. I have a special guest, Alma Vargas with Victor's Mexican Tacos. <laughs> Alma, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. So you and I have known each other for a while, and I've been uh, excited about talking to you because you have a very interesting, <laughs> exciting story to tell. Um, obviously, a woman in business, you own your own um, catering <laughs> company. We're going to get into that. But I wanted to uh, have you come on today to uh, share your story and uh, just kind of, you know, explain how you got into the uh, into the catering world. And, uh, you know, let other folks out there know that uh, entrepreneurship is is alive and well. Absolutely, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. So so let's start. What is uh, what is Victor's Mexican Tacos? So Victor's Mexican Tacos is a taco man catering business. So when people hear the man, the word taco man, um, they think of the taco man that's out in the street, you know, providing tacos like street tacos. Mm -hmm. So I took it up a little notch <laughs> and I said, you know what? We're going to cater more than just out in the street. We're going to do private catering. So that's what my catering business is about. <laughs> okay. And you do events large and small, only small, just large? I do all different sizes of events. So you, we think about the backyard boogie parties, such mm -hmm. as birthday parties, um, I don't know, a baby shower. But then you have those parties like a wedding, funerals, family reunions. Um, we even do golf tournaments. So we do big events. So different sizes. <laughs> and what what made you want to want to get into this? It's kind of a, you know, I mean, obviously catering is a big industry, but what made you specifically wanted to get into uh, to tacos? So it's so funny. Um, my dad is a retired welder and um, he built a taco catering cart. And one day um, I happened to have it in my backyard and my friend launched his church and he was at our house and he asked me and my ex, who at the time was my husband, who's one of my best friends, by the way, um, said, hey, would you guys mind catering for, you know, the day of my launch for my church? And we said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Not not having any experience, right. but we knew that um, we wanted to do this. So here we are catering tacos for his launch. And somebody said, you should start a business. So the little light bulb turned on and I said, I am going to go into this business. And I surrounded myself with business entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So I went and took a workshop class that was for small business and that's where it all began <laughs> so you had your dad's uh your dad's catering or cart which is yes cart. and so for this first venture did you just run to the grocery store and bought chicken and cheese and <laughs> pretty much um what i did was um we went to the local meat market. <laughs> we went to the local meat market and we ordered the meat and um, we did the salsas though. We did the homemade salsas and I did the beans and rice and we chopped all the toppings. And, um, but like I said, on that first launch, I knew what I wanted to do. So we went and um, studied of how much people eat basically. Mm -hmm. So one person you know, it all depends that we're all different sizes, of course. So some people can eat three tacos. Some people can eat six tacos. Wow. Some people can eat 10 tacos. Wow. But um, so we figured out of how much people are eating and basically a party as well as different. So, for example, if we're catering for a, a wedding, usually a wedding um, is served for two hours only. And, um, we know that people are going to come back for seconds and for third servings. And by the third servings, people are snacking already, maybe one taco or even a quesadillas. Cause we also offer quesadillas as well too. So, gotcha. so there's, yes. a science, there's a science behind it. You're not, you're not, you, you, if you, Absolutely. Buy, too, if you buy too much, <laughs> you're kind of on the hook for the extra food that you purchased, right? Yes. And if you buy Absolutely. too little, then you have a very unhappy 
<laughs> oh yeah, no, we have to make sure that we have plenty for second and third servings. And for whatever reason, it doesn't matter what type of party we're catering for, we always have backup. Wow. Um, backup meat means that we have some raw meat in the ice chest waiting to just in case if it needs to be cooked if we ran out or if our customer is asking for more service of our catering business yeah how did how did victor's get its name so victor's mexican tacos um when i started the business i wasn't sure what to name the business um many of my family and friends said oh you should name it after you alma vargas but i knew i just I didn't want to name it after myself because for some reason I don't like recognition. I get very shy about that. But at that time, um, it had been maybe a year or two that my brother had passed away and I was still going through the whole mourning process. So I knew that when my business started, there had to be a story behind it and just not just the story behind it of what it means, you know, the name behind it. So it's named after my late brother, Victor. And um, during his time when he was alive here on earth, we, um, my brother took a journey of being a homeless. So when my business started, I wasn't expecting or anticipating of where it's at right now, meaning profit, meaning the business that I have gained. And I said, I want to give back. So I know that um, some of my, at the end of the year, I give back to the community with my earnings. <laughs> what a nice testament. You yes, know, thank you. And, and of course, giving back is so, so important. Yes. So, so you started small, right? You started with one cart and then where did it, how did it grow? So it grew um, within the first six months. Um, I know that um, such being a, an entrepreneur, I was networking so much. So I had a lot of contacts, basically other known as a big book of business. So I started sending people text messages or calling people and just letting them know I started a business and I knew a lot of business owners. So from there started growing, people started um hiring me for private events such as company luncheon, business company luncheons, um, business affairs, you know, anything that had to do with a business. So from there, I started now asking my dad, hey, I need to build, I need you to build more catering carts for me. Mm -hmm. And he started doing that for me. And at the same time, I started training, you know, young adults that wanted to come into this industry to learn how to get a job, how to fill out an application and, you know, teaching them the customer service, what's behind of catering. So that's what I started doing. <laughs> that's how I started growing. I knew that um, when I started getting booked, you know, one, two, three in a weekend, mm -hmm. I knew that I had to start training, you know, more employees from the from the cooking to the prepping to behind the scenes of the cleanup as well <laughs> wow now one two three in a weekend can you be in uh, multiple places at the same time or is that kind of the future forward thinking absolutely yes that's how we're working at currently right now so wow. on a weekend we definitely do have about Four on a weekend. Wow. Um, we're busy every weekend, Paul. So, you know, everyone is always having a party. There's always a celebration. Um, people are, are celebrating life, you know, whether it's a newborn, whether it's a celebration of life, you know, a fundraiser, we're, we're available. Yes. And I understand that you like the, the, just because of economies of scale and all of the work that goes into this, you do like, you do gravitate <laughs> towards the bigger, bigger events. Absolutely. So we just finished catering for the LAPD SWAT team. Wow. Um, they have their biggest golf tournament. So we served for 250 players. That's, um, that's not including the people behind the scenes. So you can add another maybe 100 people. But yes, I do big events. Um, my biggest event was probably Walmart um, employees throughout the whole day. We're talking about the morning shift all the way to the graveyard shift. So that was about 500 employees in one day. Was that, so at, one, we, was that at a corporate headquarters or was that at one store? That was at one store. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> yes. So we've done we've been, we've done breweries, we've done anything you can think of of celebration that requires catering, we're available and we can do it. So yeah, um, people think of Taco Man as the street tacos, but think of it more luxury with Victor's Mexican tacos. We bring the flavor, we bring the taste, and I bring quality to your, you know, special event. <laughs> what, I mean, you know, tacos can be anything from, uh, you know, I mean, I guess I don't want to name any names, but, you know, franchise tacos, the bottom of the barrel, all the way up yeah. to your, you know, gourmet fish tacos. Um <laughs> How do you how do your tacos stand out? Oh, let me just tell you. So we have our steak tacos. We have our chicken tacos. We have our specialty taco. The specialty meat taco is a mix of our asada with chorizo, bacon, and cheese all in one. Oh we also offer mahi-mahi fish tacos. We offer pretty much a lot of stuff, but we do stand out. Um, I have been told by all of our customers that it is good quality taste. They love it. So that makes me very happy. <laughs> right. And what, what, is the, what does the future have in store? Where, where are you headed next? The future, my goal is to open up um, a franchise that can be somewhere here in California or out of state. I have family in Vegas. I have family in Oregon. So I'm hoping my first, you know, franchise is open in one of those two states. My dream goal, though, is to open a meat market. Some people might know it as a carniceria. So a meat market would be my dream goal, you know, woman-owned business. Right. So hopefully I can get to that one day. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. What and for folks watching, listening, what is your what is your current territory if they wanna if they wanna reach out? So my territory is all of LA County, Ventura County. I've been all the way to San Diego. I've been all the way to Riverside County. So we do travel. Um, obviously, I do have a minimum to travel, but we can do it. You know, people have taken the risk and take a chance on us, and they don't regret it because I do deliver great quality. <laughs> awesome. And for those young folks out there that are thinking about starting a business, um, I mean, obviously your story is inspirational, but what else, what other piece of advice might you uh, provide them today? My advice to them is surround yourself with a business owner or entrepreneurs and learn the business. Learn from the bottom. If you need to wash dishes, if you need to start loading up, if you need to learn the behind the scenes first to get to the, you know, the, to the front of it. Right. <laughs> do it. I always say do it there because you need a team. I know I don't do this by myself. My backbone is my workers. It is the taco guys. It is the taco girls. And if it wasn't for them, Victor's Tacos wouldn't exist. So I always say surround yourself with business entrepreneurs, learn the business, learn from the bottom and work your way up. So when you get to the front lines, you can be a great leader. <laughs> that is the that is very very sage advice. Thank you. Thank you. So, Alma Vargas, thank you so much for being our guest on this fifteen minutes. We've loved having you, and I'm sure that our watchers and listeners will appreciate what you've had to share. And um, of course, we want to thank our sponsor, Opus Escrow, and be sure to tune in next time. Thank you so much for having me, Paul. And you have a wonderful day. <laughs> Absolutely, you too. Bye.